Hello, welcome to this session in which I'm going to go through a mechanics problem. It's from year one of the Edexcel A level. I've taken this problem from the Pearson textbook. A motorcyclist M leaves a junction at time t equals zero. She accelerates from rest at a rate of three meters per second squared for eight seconds, then maintains the velocity she has reached. A car C leaves the same road junction as M at time t equals zero. The car accelerates from rest to 30 meters per second in 20 seconds, then maintains a velocity of 30 meters per second. Um, they, uh, C, uh, C passes M as they both pass a pedestrian. So we're gonna draw A, we need to draw the velocity time graph to illustrate what's going on. So there's time in seconds, there's velocity in uh, meters per second, there's zero. So we've got after eight seconds, um, the motorcyclist gets to, um, goes at three meters per second squared. So if you're traveling for eight seconds and you're accelerating at three meters per second squared, you're going to end up at 24 meters per second. I don't need the unit there because it's on the scale. So that's 24 there. So I just do a, a dotted line there. So 24 over eight would give you a gradient of three. So my acceleration is three. And then the motorcyclist just goes on like so. The car, however, accelerates for a little bit longer, Tra accelerates for 20. So there's 20, I don't know why I'm putting the units there. So there's 20 and it gets up to 30 meters per second. So let's do 30. If I put a dotted line up there just to show where we're going. So there's the car, the car is going up there and then the car maintains 30 meters per second. There you go. And that's good for A. Now for B, what we have is a problem where we've got to find the distance of the pedestrian from the road junction. Now the information we have is that the car um, the car passes the motorcyclist as they both pass a pedestrian. That means they've all traveled the same distance. So we need an expression for this distance. Well, let's have a look. So we know that it's going to be somewhere over here. And we're going to call it big T. I'm going to say at big T, the, uh, the motorcyclist, uh, sorry, the motorcyclist and the car, they cross, they meet. So the area, at some time, that area is going to be the same. So for C, let's see, are the area or the displacement is going to be equal to well, what do we have for the car? We've got this triangle here. So that triangle, if you look at that triangle, it's 20 times 30 over two. So that's the triangle plus, well, how far is that? That's T minus 20, T minus 20. So that's the base times 30. So what you would have there is you'd have 20 times 30 over 2 is 300 plus 30t minus 600, which would give you 30t minus 300. So that's for the car. So that's the area of how far the car has travelled when we come up to this point t. Well, what about the motorcyclists? 
we'll think about the area or the displacement. Well, that's going to be this little triangle, 24 times 8. Twenty four times eight over two for that triangle there plus well how long is it going? It's going for t minus eight, so t minus eight times twenty four. So twenty four times eight over two gives me ninety six plus twenty four t minus um, one hundred and ninety two. Simplify this, 24t minus 96. So when we get to t, we're saying t is the time when they cross. So they've gone the same amount of distance. So the area of that is the same as the area of that. So I've set up an equation I can solve. 30t minus 300 equals 24t minus 96. 6t equals uh, 204 divide through by 6 so the time here is going to be 34 seconds so at 34 seconds they all cross the motorcyclist the um, car and the pedestrian. Well how far have we traveled how far have we traveled then well, let's just use one of these. Um, let's use the car. So how far have we traveled? So 30 times 34 minus 300. So you can work this out. So 30T minus 300, I'm using that one. So 30 times 34 minus 300 equals Seven hundred and twenty. So we've gone seven hundred and twenty meters, which is what the question wants. The question wants find the distance of the pedestrian from the road junction. So let's just review what we've done. We've drawn the graph. Once we've got a graph, we have a better chance of solving the problem. We've looked at how far at this time, this unknown time initially, the car has gone, how far the um, motorcycle has gone. So 30t minus 300, 24t minus 96. We're saying this area is the same as this area, therefore they've traveled the same distance or got the same displacement. We work out the time and we put that into one of those. Just to check, what might be good. So we've got 24 T minus 96, 24 minus, time, sorry, 24 times 34 minus 96. Hopefully this will say 720 and it does. Fantastic. So I know I'm correct there. I hope that was clear. Thank you very much.